Hello and welcome back and in this video we're going to start putting in the first bit of information and that's going to be the title. But before we do that this white web page background really is a bit boring so we're going to add a little bit of color. Now obviously you can choose what color you want um, but to do this I need to go to file and I go to page properties. And I'm interested in the appearance. Now, background, I can click in here and I could put in a hexadecimal value or I can click in here, which is a lot easier. And I'm going to move it around. So I want to have something like this. It's a market day. So I think a green background is appropriate. And it's here. There's your hexadecimal value which we're not going to talk about, but what you do need to do is press enter. And you'll see that now we have it up here and click OK. And our, essentially, if we look down here in the header section, and you remember last video we were talking about information that's hidden, though still necessary, we've now got a style in here as well so we can see how things are working out and in our body section we're going to be seeing here the first bit of information which is our background color okay now we also remember from our last video the idea of containers and how we have html tags containing all the information header tags containing information about the web page itself, the body tags containing information that we can see. The same applies for what we want to put onto our web page. We use containers. And I want to either click at the top, so I can do that, or I could click in the body tag. I'll just stick it up here. And what I want to do, there are several tags up here which we have available we're going to go to insert and the insert has all of these different elements or containers that we can use now down here we want to put in a header because this is where our title is going to be so i'm going to go and click header and i want it at that insertion point which i clicked up the top there so don't worry about all this stuff and click ok now then, before we put the title itself in, you can see down here that within our body, we've got a header, opening tag, closing tag, and highlighted is essentially what is the title. So I'm going to go and highlight, and I'm going to put in market day. And if I click, it will update. Now the next thing is I'm going to highlight market day because I want to make this a title or heading one. So up here we can see all the th headings we have. Highlight H1 and let go. Now this is important uh, because if you get your heading around the wrong way uh, you're going to get confused and it's not going to work. So you've got your header tags and inside your header tags, you've got your heading one tag. So please make sure you have that. Now, for these various containers, we can add attributes. We can add elements that are able to affect this particular container. For example, we can make things bold or we can center things. So what I want to do, I go now from here down to this thing called DOM and I'm going to click on it and I want to add attributes to the header so I'm going to click in here and I will need to go to view split code live and the reason why I'm doing that is because I've got this tag here and I want to label this heading container so i make sure i'm in header and the only reason for that is because i've selected this 
I go to plus and I want to add an ID. To add an ID, I'm going to put in a hashtag and I'm going to put in the word header. And then I press return. Now, I will want to create a style sheet, a CSS file. So here I'm going to say create new CSS file. Where am I going to put it? Well, I'm going to browse to my market day, which has gone straight here. And I'm going to call it style.css and click save and click make sure there is a link and click OK and you'll see it up here. Click off and we're fine. Now this header has an ID. I'm now going to go to my tag up here because in the CSS designer where I'm going to select header and I'm going to take off my show set, so show set off. I have all of these properties or attributes which I can apply to my market day. The only thing I want to do is to look at text align and I'm going to click on the center. And there you have it. So all we've gone and done is we've added a element or a container to our web page. Very simple. Click where you want to put it and go and add it in. I've gone and changed the title to market day and having now got my properties up because I have given my container an ID, I'm able to center a line and all of that has been saved in my style sheet, which I set up. And if I go to my style sheet, you can see that we have that here. So go and do that and I will see you in the next video where we start putting in some images. Thank you very much. Bye bye.